Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. So as you can notice, we are not on the same desk as usual. I'm recording this on a new location, on a new desk. I don't know what the material is called, but I like it a lot. So for sure, for sure, I'll be doing more videos in the future on this desk. Now, the problem I'm having with this Dell Inspiron 3521, I'm showing you the model there. I'm not sure if you can see it very well. The, the, the letters are very small. Uh, the optical drive is not working. The CD DVD reader is not working. So I tested with music, with a movie and with data. It just doesn't read anything. So it, it needs to be replaced. Okay. So for that, I have, uh, I took this spare part, this optical, um, optical drive from another Dell Inspiron 3521 is the same model. That one is the commission. I'm showing you the actual model there. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. And we need to replace it. So this other computer is not working. The screen is damaged. So I have some spare parts, like a keyboard and RAM and all that. So we are going to replace it. Something I didn't do on this video is to remove the battery. In this case, I can do it. In some cases, you cannot because it's inside the case. But if you can do it, just do it. Okay? It's it's uh, it's more it's safer to do it that way. Uh, I apologize for not doing it in this video. So what I like a lot about this model is that you can remove parts very easily. You have the hard drive on the left, the RAM in the middle, and the CMOS battery on the right. But we don't need to take those for this video. So we need to remove two screws from this model. So by the way, I have, and I'm going to do it right now. So uh, if you're interested in how to troubleshoot some some issues with this model. I have some videos about it. I'm going to leave the link in the description below if you're interested. Now back to the video. As always, I'm struggling uh, when taking out the screw screws. So allow me a few more seconds and there you go. I was able to remove it. So the way you take it out, the optical drive is very easy. Well, very gently you pull it out just like that. It's very, very easy. But you can notice it's not exactly the same model as the one I showed you, I mean, as, as the replacement we're going to put in a few more seconds. So that, that's not really a problem because they are compatible. So this is the replacement. It's not exactly the same model, but they fit, as you can see here. So it's very easy to put back. You, and now once you're done, you have to put back the screws. So you tight the screws very, well, not super tight, but very gently. <laughs> but tight enough and that's it so this was a very short video that's all i wanted to show you i had this problem with this laptop and well i know who uses dvd cds in 2019 but some people do is that's interesting so i'm going to do another video in the coming days for um hp laptop that i have it doesn't have the same problem but i'm going to replace the um, the optical drive as well so you can see it in that case we're going to remove the case the back case almost entirely and we're going to see how that looks okay so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always i'll see you in the next video